All right, so let's go to the files. And this is the mother file, LGR model data. All right. Nothing so special, actually. We have run spec, start, metric, the unit, right? Unif out, oil, water, gas. All right, the component, the phase, this gas, all right? This is for the case. It's not the main thing in our particular video right now. No echo, implicit, diamonds, rec dims, step dims, everything. No, nothing special. But here, we have this one, the, the first keyword, LGR. All right, so if you want to understand what does it mean, all right, you need to go to the manual. All right, you need to go to the manual. And for this particular keyword, actually, we want to, we want to tell the navigator that I will have two LGRs. All right, the maximum numbers of cells in each LGR is 100,000. All right, 100,000. So I have two LGRs, the first number and the maximum number of cells for each LGR is 100,000. All right, but if you look at the T-Navigator manual, if I'm not mistaken, it's we can follow the default, all right, for this particular keyword, all right. Okay, uh, maybe I'm going to go back to the manual first. I want to confirm. Okay, so I will clarify. So the first number, all right, this two is the maximum number of LGRs in the model. So I basically have two LGR. So I just set maximum number to be two, but of course I can increase the maximum number of LGR, right? And the second value, the second number here, 100,000, is the maximum number of cells in each LGR, right? So the maximum number in each LGR is 100,000. And the third one, zero here, is the maximum number of amalgamated core cell. And the fourth number is the maximum number of LGR amalgamations. And lastly, the maximum number of LGRs in any amalgamation. But in the navigator, all right, this specification actually is not obligatory, all right, because the memory is allocated dynamically, all right? So, Yep, for this one you can you can just follow the default by the navigator. Okay. Again, I recommend you to go back to the, the manual itself. And if you look at the manual, actually this specification is not mandatory. All right, it's not obligatory. All right, and then we go down grid. All right, this is for the grid section, in it for initialization, and here. Of course, we have include this one, the grid. We include the grid into the into the into this one, into the model, of course. But the LGR will be defined by using this include file. So the name of the file in this case is LGR underscore model underscore LGR. So we are going to go to this file later. All right, and then props, stone, and then for PVT for relative permeability, nothing special. Region, all right, this is for the region. Solution for initialization, and then summary, and then the schedule. All right, so the only different thing in this case is here. Oh, sorry, not that, this one. All right, the main thing that will define the specification of the LGR will be defined by this file. All right, so let's go to those to the file. We can find that in under the grid and this one. All right, so this is the main thing. If you want to have LGR, you use the keyword carving. 